Recalling from the previous uh, lecture in which we have studied uh, the different further of the last week, uh, we have studied the detail of hazard, the types of hazards and uh, the benefits of uh, safety, the methods in the pharmaceutical industry, as well as we have discussed the mechanical hazard in detail, that what is meant by the mechanical hazard, what can be for the introduction of the industrial hazard, uh, that is the type of the industrial hazard that uh, is mechanical hazard. Uh, recalling from the previous section which we studied, the different types of the safeguards used in the uh, pharmaceutical industry in order to provide protection and safety from the mechanical hazard and what are the different types of the mechanical hazard which occur in the uh, pharmaceutical industry. Uh, leading to the injury of the personnel and uh, for this purpose the uh, safeguard and the different types of the safeguard we have discussed in the detail in the previous lecture. Dear students, as you know, uh, today is the overall lecture number 23rd and uh, the title of the lecture is uh, Chemical Hazard. There is an name uh, that uh, hazard will be due to the chemical uh, and uh, most of the pharmaceutical industry. So, uh, learn about the main focus of this study is to learn about the following topic that is the chemical hazard. Today, we will discuss the chemical hazard introduction. Sources of the chemical hazard and uh, safety aspects and the chemical hazard. Dear students, after the completion of this lecture, you will be able to know about the chemical hazard, about uh, the introduction, sources, and safety aspects and the chemical hazard. But what is meant by the chemical hazard and what are the different sources? due to which the chemical hazard occurs in the pharmaceutical industry and uh, what are the prevention or safety aspects and the chemical hazard and how we will prevent the uh, chemical hazard in the pharmaceutical industry and uh, what are the different uh, instructions that we followed in the pharmaceutical industry then we will be able to protect from the chemical hazard. Dear students, uh, let's start from the introduction of the chemical hazard. That a chemical hazard is a type of occupational hazard that is caused by exposure to chemicals in the workplace. As you know that the personnel working in the pharmaceutical industry, they are exposed to different types of chemicals. And if they are exposed to the chemicals in the pharmaceutical industry are in the premises and the uh, hazard that is due to the chemical that is found is chemical hazard. Chemical hazard are uh, a major occupational health and safety issue in the pharmaceutical industry like the other hazard, uh, one of the uh, hazard that is chemical hazard that is uh, one of the occupational health and safety problem and the pharmaceutical industry and we should focus on this issue to overcome because uh, this is very dangerous issue and the uh, pharmaceutical industry because the different chemicals are processed or during the uh, testing material or during the processing of the uh, pharmaceutical doses from manufacturing. Uh, that's why the chemical hazard is one of the prominent hazard, one of the prominent issue in the pharmaceutical industry. OHS stands for occupational health and safety. Occupational health and safety. OHS, it is abbreviation for the occupational health and safety. Chemical hazards uh, produced by chemical synthesis or manufacturing, processing, transportation, and that, uh, that effect on the human and environmental condition. 
chemical hazard not only affect the human but also it has a huge effect on the environmental condition on the environment as well <coughs> now in this uh, section we will discuss uh, the chemical hazard types or classification as you know chemical hazard are toxic corrosive irritant carcinogenic flammable and mutagenic according to workplace hazardous materials information chemical hazard are classified into the following six classes the first one that is class a the second is class b and the third one that is class c and so on fourth fifth and sixth uh, respectively classified as class d class e and class f from class a to class f hazardous materials or uh, chemicals are classified as these are the six categories according to workplace hazardous material information and the class a uh, including compressed gas dissolved gas or uh, liquefied gas these are the example of some of the chemical that is uh, categorized under class a while in the class b flammable gases flammable and combustible liquids uh, that cause uh, combustion flammable solids uh, solid uh, chemicals that are flammable in nature and flammable aerosols reactive flammable material these are uh, the example of the class b material are chemical while in the class c oxidizing material so like oxidizer and organic peroxide uh, these are oxidizing material and uh, oxidizers are there uh, in the class c chlorides nitric oxide peroxide forming nets these are the example of oxidizer apart from these uh, perchlorates nitrides nitrates and as any oxidized metal powder are included in the class c and uh, the third one that is uh, categorized under the class c that is uh, one of the example is organic peroxide like tyro hydrofluorone methyl ether hexane and methyl isobutyl ether these are organic peroxide the fourth class of the chemicals uh, that is uh, class d including poisonous and infectious material for example cyanide tea salts and asbestos these are in the class d class e include corrosive material like inorganic acid and bases hydrogen chloride in the class f dangerous reactive materials for example ethylene dioxide organic azides sodium lithium calcium or phosphoric materials including white phosphorus dithyl aluminum chloride and lithium are the chemical including in the class f uh, in this section we have discussed the different categories or classify classification of the chemical hazard according to workplace hazardous materials information <coughs> now we will discuss the categories of chemical exposure chemical exposure are generally divided into two main categories either 
a person exposed to chemical that may vary by acute symptoms or it may be chronic one symptoms of after exposure to the chemical can be divided into these two categories acute and chronic symptoms resulting from acute exposure usually occur during or shortly after exposure to sufficiently high concentration of contaminant or chemical for either the chronic or acute exposure the toxic effect may be temporary and uh, reversible or may be permanent that may cause a disability or death sometimes the chronic may lead to the temporary and reversible uh, symptoms and that may be worse that may be treat, treated easily but uh, sometimes uh, the exposure uh, may cause acute exposure and uh, sometimes it is a chronic exposure whatever the acute or chronic sometimes uh, temporary effects are there resulted and sometimes in permanent disability or the death may occur uh, in case of the uh, chronic or the acute exposure it depend upon the nature that of the exposure as well some chemicals may cause obvious symptoms such as burning coughing uh, sneezing nausea tearing eyes uh, or rashes other chemical may cause other chemical may cause uh, death or uh, we can uh, focus on over there that some material may cause obvious symptoms such as burning, coughing, nausea, uh, nausea, tearing eyes, uh, tearing of eyes or uh, rashes or it may be tearing eyes now we will discuss the chemical hazard that can enter and form the body by pain route uh, for main roots, the roots of administration of the chemical. And what are the different roots to which the chemical hazard can enter to the body and uh, by entering the body they may harm the body. Here are four uh, main roots. The first one is absorption through the skin the chemicals exposed uh, person and that uh, may absorb through the skin of the person annihilation sometimes it has a chemical like the volatile solvents or different other dusting material may be inhaled sometimes injection sometimes infestion so these are the four main routes of the chemical hazard can enter the body uh, thereby harm the body different ways of chemical hazard cause harm that's how the chemical hazard cause harm and uh, there are different ways for example the chemical may catch fire and uh, may close or reactive may be corrosive may be irritant to the person will cause a poor neck organ damage or over time and uh, sometimes causing an allergic reaction and sometimes causing genetic or reproductive harm for example one of the uh, popular chemical uh, that cause uh, the reproductive harm to the male that is uh, termed as pyridine that's why pyridine should be avoided uh, to for the person a male may be a uh, product of harm to that particular person and care should be taken in this regard 
forces of hazard and pharmaceutical and this uh, we will discuss the sources of chemical hazard and the pharmaceutical first one is handling and storage of huge quantity hazardous chemicals and the person handling or storing a big quantity of the hazardous chemical and uh, that may be close to the chemical and the second one is transferring loading and unloading of solvents and chemicals to reaction vessels and during that the transferring and loading of unloading of the solvents the person may close to the chemicals human errors while handling hazardous materials if there is special precaution not considered and uh, that's why uh, the human error leading to causing uh, the hazardous chemical while handling the chemical emission of hazardous air pollutants from reaction vessel due to overloading or under designed reaction vessel precaution or SOPs are not followed then that lead to this point of the coder or emission of the hazardous air pollutants from reaction vessel during the chemical processing during the testing and the uh, quality control lab or during the processing or uh, combination of the mixing of the chemical during the processing of dosage form volatile organic compounds uh, abbreviated as VOCs volatile organic compounds releases from uncontained and moreover reaction vessel and most common volatile organic compound include methanol like chloromethane, thalvin, ethylene glycol and acetonitrile. Leaks of effluent from wastewater treatment plants are from effluent collection sums from process area apart from these there are some materials which may be Inherent because of the testing of the chemical of the oral during the processing, like mixing or during the compression, or maybe in the coating of the tablet, different organic solvents are used, and a person are exposed to that organic solvents, and that may be dangerous to the person if they inherit. And for this purpose, special precautions should be taken in order to avoid any problem and to ensure the health and safety of the personnel working in that particular section of the coating. In this section we will discuss the safety aspect and the chemical hazard according to the OSHA. OSHA stands for Occupational Safety and Hazard Demonstration is by the US. Certain chemicals have dangerous reactivity properties which lead to fires, explosions, burns and blindness. And that's why, according to the OSHA, imply to use personal protective equipment, abbreviated as PPE, when working with industrial chemicals. PPE include like uh, face shields, gloves, protective applies. Uh, from the direct exposure to the chemical or the mask, the face mask that is used uh, 
of a special word must be used in order to avoid the exposure to that particular chemical that during the processing uh, neither touch by hand and gloves should be worn by the person working with industrial chemical and uh, by using the OSHA instruction and uh, using the PP it is personal protective equipment the personal or employees working over there may be not exposed directly to the chemical and they are protected from the chemical exposure and uh, that's why uh, ensure health and safety practice always uh, follow these guidelines when working with chemical assume that any unfamiliar chemical as hazardous and treat it as such special precaution should be taken in case of the unfamiliar chemical no all the hazard of the chemical with which you work for example perchloric acid is a corrosive and oxidizer and a reactive benzene is an irritant it is also flammable toxic and pathogenic we must know about all the chemicals to which we are supposed to expose and uh, special precaution should be taken while using or handling uh, these chemicals we should know all the properties of the chemicals, the nature of the chemicals never underestimate the potential hazard of any chemicals or combination of chemicals consider any mixture or reaction product to be least as hazardous as if not more hazardous than a most hazardous component never use any substance that is not properly labeled you are not sure and it is not properly labeled we should be careful about the use of the chemical it may be not what you think that is that all chemical when they are received and again when they are open we must also ensure about the dead follow all chemical safety instructions such as those listed in uh, material safety data sheets uh, material data safety sheets are available uh, on chemical container level and uh, precisely uh, we should ensure to follow all the safety instructions uh, while those are uh, in mentioned in the safety material safety data sheets uh, which may be uh, according to the uh, chemical container level uh, minimize your exposure to any chemicals regardless of its hazardous uh, rating use personal protective equipment PPE as appropriate for the chemical for that chemical for every chemical the special instruction about the PPE that which personal protective equipment should be used for this purpose and I use the body system when working with hazardous chemicals don't work in the laboratory alone that's all about the uh, today lecture regarding the chemical hazard what are chemical hazard about the protection source and safety effect and the chemical hazard the different classes of chemical hazard including class A, class B, 
class E, class D, class E, class F. Categories of chemical order divided into two main categories like acute and chronic. Chemical hazards can enter and harm the body by different routes, including the four main routes that's uh, absorption through the skin, inhalation, injection, ingestion, and the different ways of chemical hazards that can cause harm. I'm catching fire, plus or retail, or wash out, irritant, causing chronic organ damage over time, causing an allergic reaction, causing genetic or reproductive harm, the sources of hazards and the pharmaceutical, a different exposure of the personnel working in the pharmaceutical industry, they are exposed to different volatile organic compounds and other chemical uh, regarding the safety aspect of the chemical hazard or shall that is occupational safety and health administration rules and regulations should be followed the personal working where they should wear and use the appropriate personal protective equipment that is PP and moreover chemical safety instruction and uh, material safety data sheets or any instruction which are labeled on the chemical container precisely should be followed. Thank you all for your attention. Inshallah we will discuss this lecture in the online Google Meet session as well. about the handout Safety and health administration PP that is personal protective equipment. It's 
about the handout of this lecture. Moreover, uh, you can uh, consult about the papers uh, that is uh, related to the hazardous material or the different hazards including the chemical hazard and the pharmaceutical industries. Uh, let's show you uh, this paper but before uh, this paper I am going to Load the material for you so in the uh, you can consult uh, this is one of the paper regarding the uh, types of the hazard. Uh, that there are different types of chemicals uh, which may be carcinogenic. Uh, the identification of carcinogenic agents was based on the IARC classification and ca corresponding IARC. That is the IARC uh, monograph, that is the uh, identification of carcinogenic agent identification of carcinogenic agent uh, corresponding to ISRC uh, monograph and sensitizing and uh, re, uh, toxic substances that based on the compound published in 2013 by the German Commission for Investigation of health hazard of chemical compound and uh, chemical and uh, that exported limit for example a different chemicals when we export to the limit that is uh, uh, ethyl alcohol one of the chemical exported limit is 1000 ppm above this limit uh, these are uh, toxic acetone that is 1000 ppm part per million this is the uh, ppm methylene chloride that is 25 ppm uh, isopropyl alcohol that is IPA uh, 400 ppm uh, these are the limits and uh, some of the indicating word name of the sample picture for example explosive and uh, that is for the explosive one uh, picture and peroxidizing this one is and uh, danger uh, and uh, F for F plus and O for oxidizing E for the explosive FRA plus uh, highly flammable or extremely flammable and uh, corrosive over here. Uh, now, indicating word uh, name of the sample and picture that is toxic or uh, very toxic, harmful or irritant, And for toxic, this sample is a, and for the harmful or irritant, this one, and for harmful or irritant, this one also. And for radioactive, uh, this picture is indicating a uh, sample. And for the uh, chemical dangerous for the environment, uh, that is hazardous to the environment and the different environmental conditions, and uh, biohazard. And these are the different types of the samples that are used. That's all about the uh, chemical hazards, the sources. Safety and the types of the hazard. 
uh, you can consult on this uh, paper admin now I am going to place on the portal same lecture handout and the detail number is 23rd lecture on page time uh, selecting that one I will select the uh, number 5 lecture number 23 handout period will be uploaded Yeah. 
going to verify it and then we need and I will click on the add button the detail is uh, loading you can see uploading in progress the file is successfully uploaded and I'm going to save and return to the course that's uh, about the uploading on the portal and I'm going to check this topic in the books as well you can consult the book for the end semester and first of all I would like to click on the like man let's search over there on the like man about the hazards I think so that is not available over there on the remington pharmaceuticals definitely it will be available Start the uh, hazards, uh, the velocity, the chemical hazard. Thank you all, you can consult all the paper as well as in the article for what you take.